Today I am here with a cute little organ. It's made by the brand of Esti. Now there's a few little catches to this instrument. I have a really cool story. And if you're curious as to where I found this instrument, I'll put the information for the store in the description of this video. And there's a couple catches. The first price, the first thing here is the price of this organ. It is only $99, which is dirt cheap for a little instrument like this. And that is really cool. But there's also a couple other catches. It's in completely as is um, condition. And the reason that this uh, company has sold it is trying to sell it rather than throw it away is because an instrument like this shouldn't be thrown away. I kind of have a, a soft spot for harmoniums and pump organs. I think they're kind of cool, but this organ does need a lot of work. And I think it would be kind of a fun summer project for somebody out there who likes to fix things. I know there's a lot of people out there who do like to fix things. And there are honestly a number of things wrong with it. First of all, this one key top here uh, came off. It's still in one piece though, so you could just glue it back on and it would be perfectly fine. These are plastic keys though, so if you wanted to build the the actual keys are wooden, but the uh, white parts are plastic. I mean, yeah, they're plastic. So if you wanted to buy new key tops and completely refinish, replace them, that could be done. I'm going to take it off because it makes it difficult to play. Some of the stops work, some of them don't. I have all the ones that do work pulled out. The little labels on them are, g are gone, but you can still read them. This one's bass cover. This one says viola. This one says Melo melodia. Yeah, I think this is Melodia. This one says Dolce. This one says Forte. This one says Vox Humana. This one says Forte as well. It's the Forte for, I think, another half of the instrument. This one says Dulciana. This one says Diapason. This one says Vox Humana. And this one says Treble Coupler. And so I have all the ones that work pulled out. Um, some of them are disconnected, like these ones here. When you pull them out, there's no resistance. And all that needs to be fixed there is a little linkage needs to be connected to the back of the stop or glued or however it's fixed on. So these four are simply disconnected. I assume if they weren't disconnected, they would actually work well. And the uh, the bellows, probably the leather on them is very old and it's most likely the original leather and it's leaking a lot of air so the sound isn't very consistent. But it does work. The stops that are here do work and it does play music. actually play music with it. I'm just going to try to play a little song here for you. As you can hear, the uh, the pumping pedals are making a bit of noise as well. You could probably put some felt in there to kind of stop the that sound. And again, the bellows are need some replacement and some work on them. So this is a bit of a project, but at the same time, it's only $99. It's so cute, and it's a little tiny uh, pump organ harmonium. And it was built in the approximately the 1890s by this SD organ company, which I think is kind of cool that an instrument like this has survived from roughly the 1890s. In overall decent condition, the case especially is in quite nice shape. It also, like the rest of the organ, is not perfect. There's only some minor scratches and stuff, but again, for $99, you'd have a fun summer project, or since this, I'm making this video in the wintertime, maybe you could work on it in the garage over the wintertime or something like that. Um, it's really, really cute, and I like it. The logo here says SD Organ Company, made in Brattleboro, Utah, USA, of all places. So this organ, if I'm reading that right, and it does say Utah, it says, I believe it says UT. Uh, if that is Utah, this piano, uh, this organ was made in Utah, which is a pretty interesting place for an instrument like this to come out of. So once again, if you would be interested in a project like this, it would be kind of fun, and as I said, it does play, but it is sold completely as is. I'm going to have to put that back. So it has some issues, but if you wanted to have a fun project, I think this would be an awesome candidate for it, a very musical summer project. And again, if you're interested in where I found this instrument, I will put the information for the shop in the description of this video so you can come and check it out for yourself. Today I am here and I'm standing in front of a piano, but I'm actually not going to be talking about this piano in this video, although it is a pretty decent piano. I'm actually going to be talking about this little thing here. Now it probably looks like a suitcase, maybe it's like a flute case or something, but actually when you open it up you will realize that it is in fact some sort of a keyboard instrument and when you play it, it makes no noise. It is not one of those uh, keyboard uh, accordions that you blow into to make the air, to make the sound. It is not anything like that and there is no output jack to produce a signal. It is instead a practice keyboard. It makes no noise and it has 
a weightless, um, you know, a light action, kind of like an organ does or a cheap keyboard. And the idea behind this instrument is that somebody could practice on their music and maybe, you know, uh, practice chords or something like that without making a bunch of noise and disturbing the family, which was a very neat idea. As you can tell by the case, the condition of it, it's in decent condition, but it has had some repairs over time. Um, it uh, might be from maybe the 60s or the 50s or something like that. It kind of has that look. I could imagine that a design like this would have been very popular in the 50s, and I think I have seen some other instruments and things that have had a finish somewhat like that from roughly that time period. Now, it weighs next to nothing, and on the back here, it has a little a uh, little stamp that says made in Italy. So this was apparently made in Italy by some sort of Italian keyboard manufacturer of some kind. Now the only Italian keyboard and keyboard entry manufacturer that I can think of is Fazioli. And this is definitely not a Fazioli creation. Fazioli yeah, makes some of the world's greatest pianos. So there was some other Italian in instrument maker or novelty no. instrument maker or something that made this <laughs> instrument, which I think is kind of interesting. Now, as I said, the idea behind this instrument was to be able to practice quietly without making a bunch of racket like a normal piano does if you wanted to drill chords. On a piano, make a loud noise and wake the baby up. But with this, it doesn't make noise anywhere near as loud as the piano, but the action is designed so simply, it's simply a lever with a spring, and this piece of material here, it might be wood, is simply designed to keep the, act, the uh, keys in so they don't fall out. But because of that, they make a lot of noise when you play it. Which you'd think would also wake up a young child, especially if you're playing something more complicated. Or you're doing something that might be like from the blues scale or something and you're sliding off the notes. It makes a lot of noise. But I just thought I'd show you guys this because I've never heard of an instrument like this and it's rather interesting. As I said, the action is very, very simple. There's like one moving part and then a spring to return it. And as a result, the magic of a piano is that it's a lever, but you can actually, if you push on the back of the key and you push on the front of the key, it feels about the same and you can still play the note on both of the white keys and the black keys. But because this is such a simplified version, you can't do that on it. So that's one disadvantage to an instrument like this. And that is one reason of many that I imagine these instruments did not catch on. Is it even a musical instrument? I mean, I guess it is because it has a keyboard, but it doesn't really make music. It's really only for practicing music. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you guys this because I've never seen anything quite like it. And it is quite interesting. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video uh, on this very oddball little uh, Italian creation. If you guys have any idea who made it or if you've ever seen one or heard, if you know any more information about the company or this instrument, please let me know in the comment section down below. And also if you're curious as to where I found this, uh, this shop has a lot of really cool instruments. I'll put their information down in the description of this video as well. So if you, if you want to go check out my channel, I've got lots of videos on pianos, organs, and all kinds of other awesome keyboard instruments. And this is now in the mix as well, even though it doesn't make any kind of a sound whatsoever other than that. So if you want to go check out my channel, you can. If you want to subscribe, thank you very much, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.